Carpaccio. Carpaccio was invented in 1961 at Aris Bar in Venice, Italy. It was named for the Renaissance painter Vittore Carpaccio, who was noted for the use of red in his paintings. A carpaccio is a dish made of raw meat that is finely sliced and served with cold sauce made of olive oil and lemon juice, or just served with olive oil and sometimes parmesan cheese and arugula. Once again, the key is to use only the best quality of product. Extra virgin olive oil is a must as well as the best quality of beef. To make the carpaccio, you will need frozen beef tenderloin. Here I use the center cut of the beef filet and I kept it frozen for two days. Parmesan, chopped parsley, a few capers, white wine vinegar, English sauce or Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, lemon juice, dry mustard, egg, salt, white pepper and milk. Break the egg and place the yolk in a bowl. That's we're going to make a small mayonnaise. Add the dry mustard powder. Whisk together. Add a little bit of the seasoning. So some salt. White paper powder. Okay. Then we are going to whisk slowly the olive oil. So slowly incorporate the oil. Then whisk in the vinegar. About a good tablespoon of lemon juice. the milk and about a teaspoon of the Liperin sauce. Taste. Mm. Nice flavor. A little bit of um, maybe a little bit more lemon juice just to have a little bit more kick. The sauce has a nice acidity, so we're going to keep it refrigerated while we are working on our meat. Then you want to have the beef still frozen and we are going to cut it with a sharp knife into very thin slices. In restaurants, they will cut the meat using a meat slicer. If you are having difficulties at home to cut thin slices, what you can do is to cut them slightly a bit thicker, then place them on the plastic wrap between two layers and you can pound them a little bit just to have an even thickness. And then you can place them on your plate. You want the beef to be pretty thin.
then place about a teaspoon of sauce over the meat and spread it. A little bit more. So about a tablespoon total. The sauce will season the meat. There is some variation of carpaccio where you put only olive oil and shredded parmesan, shaved parmesan. Then add a few shaves of parmesan. So I'm going to make nice ones. Here we go. Maybe one more in the center. Oh, right there. Here we go. Nice and garnish with a few leaves of our ragula salad. This will bring a little bit bitterness to the dish. Garnish with a few capers and a little bit of chopped parsley. And serve the carpaccio immediately after it's been done. Carpaccio, buon appetito a tutti!